To our surprise, on August 14th, 2001, we did receive a message. It was next to the Chilbotin radio telescope, and it was actually a face. It was a representative, it was a crop circle of a face of a gray alien. Holy sh all right, so at the end of the day, all this talk about aliens and everything comes down to the Arecibo response crop circle. This has, and she goes on to say, people say it's debunked. That's because it has been debunked. So first of all, a quick review of what crop circles are. This is a phenomenon that started in the 80s, maybe early 90s. And later it was revealed that two guys, Doug and Dave, started it like they made the first crop circle they invented the whole idea it was done as a prank as a hoax and they did it for a while um and then but then it took off right it, it kind of took on a life of its own a lot of people do it really kind of as an art form and it is a kind of an interesting art form some people do and sort of doing it in secret is part of the <laughs> of the medium right it's part of what you do uh, and these, the techniques developed to make crop circles evolved over time. Um, but there hasn't been any crop circle that could not be easily explained as people did it, right? People make crop circles. There's no evidence that this is alien communication in any way. And the stuff they point to is all just anomaly hunting. Like, look, but look at the way that they're flattened down or whatever. It's like, okay, but you're just looking at it. It's like, that looks a little weird. Maybe aliens did it. There's no reason to think that that, therefore, aliens did it. I once some, had someone say to me, they made a perfect circle. How could they possibly do that? Uh, a stick and a rope? You know, remember the, a compass? Like, you tie a string to your pencil and you could make a perfect circle. There are techniques you can use in order to make very regular, very precise creations like this. This is not, not, you don't have to invoke aliens to explain crop circles. The Arecibo response as well is like, yeah, there's no reason why people could not have made that. Um, so there's also the issue of, let's say, again, the, the Arecibo signal was sent out to, you know, a cl M31 cluster in Sagittarius 25,000 years from here. It's not even going to be there in 25,000 years when the signal gets there. It really was just a demonstration. It wasn't intent, intended to be a serious uh, communication with you know, beings outside of Earth. But in any case, you have to hypothesize that some, someone intercepted it fairly close to the Earth um, within a few light years or whatever, and, and then came to the Earth and communicate and then chose to respond in a crop circle. They they're, they're chose the aliens, instead of just sending back a signal or contacting us in some other way, said, oh, we're going to make, you know, we're going to make pictures in crops because apparently that's how people talk to each other because, you know, I don't know, maybe they observed they were crop circles. Um, it's just, it makes no sense. It's absolutely ridiculous. Then if you look at the content of the Arecibo response crop circle, it is completely unimaginative, straight out of existing science fiction, right? Oh, it's silicon-based life. Not really that plausible when you think, when, you know, astrobiologists or people thinking about alternative biology have sort of examined that idea, but not impossible, just not extremely plausible. But that idea has been out there for a long time. Like triple helix DNA, same thing, not a new idea. It's been out there for a long time. And then a typical gray alien? Come on, that's hackneyed. That's complete nonsense. Aliens would look alien. They wouldn't just be people with big eyes and big heads, right? That is sort of the... The aliens are what to humans look like more advanced humans, right? It's completely based upon our own biology and our own cultural biases and our own sort of an innate sense of what looks, you know, intelligent or whatever. It, the, you know, the, the idea that there are aliens out there that actually look like little gray aliens is fantastical. It's complete nonsense. So the, the, response was just a stitching together a bunch of pre-existing tropes, basically alien tropes. Nothing surprising, nothing new, nothing even remotely interesting. So 
there's zero reason to believe that the Arecibo response crop circle, it was actually aliens trying to communicate with us. There's a lot of reasons to think that it's just a person-made crop circle. But, you know, some people look at that and they see proof, proof of what they want to believe, or at least something interesting enough to break them out of their mundane daily lives, I suppose. But this is not a claim that should be taken seriously.